Hello and welcome to Crumlin, where today we're taking in the under-15 game between Linfield and Cliftonville. Both teams going well in the league so far. Let's see who comes out on top in this Belfast derby. First though, it's the best of the highlights from the last two weeks. Belfast rivals Linfield and Cliftonville met at Crumlin Leisure Centre with both sides in the top four in the table. Jesse Carson was first to try his luck for Linfield with this ninth minute free kick, which was straight at Ryan Lennon. Cliftonville playing in their traditional red home colours were keen to get the ball behind the Linfield rear guard early on and defy their underdog tag status in this clash. Down at the other end, Linfield Ben Wiley tried to pick a pass over the top to Lee Ray. Well, Doherty miscued his effort well wide of the target. A quick corner routine then almost caught the Reds out. Wiley loitering at the back post to go and put his header wide of the target. Cliftonville's tenacious attitude was typified by Aidan Steele, leading his side from defence to attack. And it was Cliftonville who struck first on the stroke of half time. Lewis McFadden picking out Oren Casey, who produced this fine finish despite picking up an injury early in the game. Linfield had it all to do in the second half, and just four minutes after the restart, Wiley brought this superb save from Lennon. And the Blues were levelled just two minutes later. Jack Scott was the orchestrator from inside his own half, twisting and weaving to bring another save ultimately from Lennon. Lee Ray was on hand to make sure from the rebound to make it one apiece. Linfield were now in the ascendancy. And with 44 minutes played, they took the lead. Jesse Carson crossing for Lewis McKinnon to score from close range. <laughs> Leading by two goals to one, Linfield continued to pile on the pressure. Wiley again was central in midfield, pulling the strings. Sam Morrow though couldn't find a way past Lennon. In the dying minutes, Carl Johnson surged forward, the ball fell to Scott, but he couldn't find a way to extend his side's lead. Linfield finished winners on the day. Full time Linfield two, Cliftonville one.
2-1 scoreline is a good result for us because it could have been three of some good saves from our goalkeeper. But I thought overall that I thought our players gave a good account of themselves and I thought Ian Steele today was outstanding and uh, one of the players to watch out for in the future. Very, very happy how we played for the 70 minutes in the game. I thought we controlled it well. Um, obviously, Cliftonville, very, very good team. Credit to them. Um, definitely, definitely, you know, give us a game and put us under pressure and probably deserved a 1 0 lead at half time, albeit. I thought we put, you know, we put some great balls in the first 20 minutes and we're just a wee bit unlucky in front of the goal. Came in, regrouped, had a, had a bit of a chat, you know, about what we need to do, be that wee bit more conviction in front of the goal. And they certainly showed that bravery in the second half and I, and I credit them because. Um, we haven't played in five weeks. We went to Glenavon on Wednesday night with a drew 1 1 again. Played very well, came away with a point which we were very pleased with. But, you know, special imagine must go to like a Jack Scott, Ben Wiley, you know, and young Lewis McKinnon, who's a 2003 player, scored the winning goal today. Fantastic performance from the young man. But um, as I say, credit the boys. Uh, <laughs> I think they deserve a good break today, um, the rest of the weekend off. But a, re a really good game of football. Credit the National League and one we all enjoyed.